Hey, you 12s, Mr. Lim here again. Um, talking, we're gonna do a video about the physical properties of amides. Disclaimer, this stuff is way beyond what you need to know, but because everyone else had physical properties, I had this one had to have physical properties too. Okay, so don't worry too much about uh, this one if you're not too sure about it. Um, it is just going to be super um, brief. Uh, it does have some university level concepts there, so it's just be like, meh, why not? Let's just go through it and see who understands. All right, so let's have a look. Amides have hydrogen bonding between molecules. Yeah, that makes sense. Here's your CNH2, okay, and it can have another CO with an NH2 here. Okay, so we can have hydrogen bonding between molecules. That's nice and easy to draw. Okay, I don't know, understand why that's so hard. All right, however, this would be showing it forming a dimer, but it can actually form catamers, which are technically ongoing structures where each amine, whoops, or which each amide bonds to more than one um, uh, other amide. All right, so this particular amide is bonding to three other a or two other amides. All right, but it could also bond to more. All right, because uh, this also has the ability, this nitrogen here has the ability to hydrogen bond to something else as well. So you can form ongoing structures of these things, making very long chains of these hydrogen bonded uh, molecules, which means that they have uh, quite high melting and boiling points. Okay, so they have these higher melting and boiling points because they can form these catamers where they're forming multiple hydrogen bonds with each other, all grouping together. And if they're all grouping together, then um, they're going to form uh, big molecules and therefore have high dispersion forces there, all right? So they have a high melting boiling point, even higher than carboxylic acids because they can form bigger things than dimers, all right? Small ones are soluble in water, but less so than carboxylic acids. That's interesting, okay? So in other words, the uh, ability to hydrogen bond, I don't know, there must be something along with the orientation of the water molecules around it, which prevent it pr from producing too many um, hydrogen bonds and therefore producing too much energy. However, they are soluble in water, the small ones, four or smaller or less, all right? Um, they have a low vapor pressure because, you know, high of some of intermolecular forces, which, you know, give them a high melting boiling point and they smell bad, they have pungent odor. Okay, so things that die, they produce lots of amides and that's what makes them smelly. All right, so I'm not even going to go into this. There's a whole bunch of stuff that uh, we could have gone into, but we're not going to go into the physical properties of amides too much and we're just going to move on to the next video. Woohoo!